Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first day of holiday me! If you are new to my channel this year and you don't know, every December I do a series called Holiday Me. It's looked a little bit different over the years, but this year I am trying to commit to every other day up until Christmas. So videos should go up on the odd days of the month, starting with today, December 1st. And as usual, it is my lush Christmas haul. I'm really, really excited. I've had this stuff on hand for quite a bit, just sitting in a bag. So I'm really excited to film it, show you guys so I can start using this stuff and then update you guys in other types of videos. And it's a big haul. Like I got a big bag. <laughs> Some of the stuff was sent to me. A lot of it I purchased myself. It was kind of, you know, both accumulated. So yeah, I won't chat too much. We'll just get into it since it's gonna be long, but I thought I would say that I will have my clip my lips and my shirt linked down below. The shirt is literally $8 and it says Mary. It is so cute. It's from Target. I'm sure you've seen it all over Instagram, but like I had to have it. It's just so cute. So I bought it. This is from Anthropology. This is Smashbox. And then on my eyes, the glitter is the Tati Beauty palette. So, okay. And my nails will be listed down below, of course. Okay. But here we go into the haul. So let's start with bath bombs and bubble bars, like the bath products because I figure the diehard Lush fans that's what you want to see but I do have quite a few like shower gels, some lotions, some shower jellies, some other random stuff, a an amazing lip scrub, body scrub, all that. I will show that to you next. <laughs> and also of course I need to open up my Lush app so I can know what I'm talking about you know. Okay so let's start out with something new this year that I think is so cool and they're called Amaze balls and I bought two of them. I believe they came out with four, but I was like, you know what? I just need two. <laughs> I don't even need any. The amount of bath bombs I have right now is nuts. I really need to be taking like two baths a day. <laughs> but here is what one of them looks like. This one is called the Holly Go Lightly Amaze Ball. And so basically this is your bubble bath. I believe there's bath melt material in there as well and your bath bomb. And they say you could use it all at once or you could use it in three different situations. So basically the top comes off. This itself could be a bath bomb, but then it is, and I'll give you a close up, but it is filled inside with, I think bubble bar and bath bomb material. I'm not entirely sure, but basically you dump what's inside under the running faucet and it creates bubbles and color and all of that. The shell of course itself could be used as a bath bomb. So I just think that's super fun. Anything new from Lush, I'm down to try and it has a really cute holly on top. I love the green color. I love that it has this like fine silver shimmer throughout it and it smells really good. It smells, they had a holly go lightly, I believe bubble bar or something that looks like this and it smells the same. It was covered in silver glitter, but this has Brazilian orange and cinnamon leaf oil. So it's very like, bright but Christmassy and I really enjoy it. So I am excited to try this. I do believe I have a video of them demoing this in store. As I was shopping they like did a demo and so I will insert that as I'm talking right now. But yeah I'm so excited to try this at home and I will keep you updated. And then I have another Amaze Ball. This is called Don't Let the Bells End Amaze Ball. So it has cute little bells on top. Again you could take it off. They also have some like chunks of like it looks like crystals in there. This one smells amazing. I think I like the way it smells better than the other one. It smells like Definitely ylang ylang, just kind of like floral but Christmassy. Like I don't know how to describe it, so I'll read about it. <laughs> it says sprinkle the magic crystals into the water. Let the warm floral ylang ylang take center stage. There's also almond oil and benzoin oil. It smells really good though. Of course, there are some Christmas classics like the luxury lush pud. A lot of you comment on my video when I say pud that it's pud as in pudding. So. Luxury Lush Pud. They also came out with a huge version of it this year and I believe it's one of the ones where you can like open it and there's crystals and like sea salt inside. I kind of want to buy that one for in North Carolina. My mom has a huge tub. It just doesn't make sense for my tub here because I have like a small shower bathtub hybrid but I might order that online and have it sent to my mom's house so I can use that on Christmas Eve or something. But I love this one. I've been buying this one for years. I think it's really pretty. I love that it's half pink, half white with the fun polka dots and then it has a cute little holly on top. Also, they came out again with the world's smallest disco, which I really, really enjoyed last year, but I forgot to buy it. So I don't know what happened there. I need to pick that one up. It looks similar to this. It's just all black with like the polka dots. It smells a little bit different to me this year. Normally it smells like twilight to me. It's got bergamot, black currant, and cypress. I do feel like they changed the scent. Am I insane? Does anybody know? I don't know, but I like it. I love Bergamot, so yeah, a Christmas classic. Another classic that is one of my all-time faves is the Shoot for the Stars bath bomb. I 
Love this one so much, I always buy like four of them by the time the season is over. It's just amazing. It's this bright, beautiful blue color, and it has these gold stars, and the gold stars are actually bath melts, so the balm itself kind of fizzes away, and the stars are left, and it just makes your bath really, really moisturizing, which I will say, the bath melts from Lush are incredible. They really do moisturize your skin when you get out you feel better and this one is scented like honey i washed the kids which is kind of like honey toffee scented it smells incredible this is a staple in my life every christmas it's just so good and honestly that's it for the repeats that i got at least of course like the golden wonder the present i don't know what it's called but there's other things there were so much that I tried to only buy what I like liked the way it smelled. Sometimes I can go overboard and like, oh, it's cute, I need to put it in the haul, but in order to save money, I only bought, you know, the things I'd be interested in, which makes sense. <laughs> so yeah, let's get into all the new bath bombs because it's quite exciting. So this year they came out with a lot of Snow Fairy products and they have a whole Snow Fairy bath bomb and I believe they also have a Snow Fairy Mm. Snow Fairy scented Amaze Ball as well. I didn't pick up that one, but I did get the Snow Fairy bath bomb, which Snow Fairy, I believe, smells like bubble gum, but it's like, it is bubble gum, but it's, it's not as, I hate bubble gum, but I don't mind this. Actually, it says cotton candy scent. Hmm. It is very sweet though, so if you're not into like the vanilla sweet type things, this might not be for you, but this one is beautiful. I love that it's two-toned and it has snowflakes on either end. One side is blue, one side is white, and I just think that's so beautiful. And it says it has lime oil in it, which I love that. I've tried Snow Fairy stuff before. I do like the way it smells, so I'm excited to try that. Every I'm gonna be covered in glitter by the end of this video, and that's fine. <laughs> Next up is one of, I think, the cutest ones. This is called Jingle Bells. It is a bath bomb, and it's a bell. You'll be able to see it better in the close-up, but it is the shape of a bell. It has the detail of a bell. It's got stars on it, a beautiful, bright pink bow and I love it. <laughs> it smells very fresh and clean and if you shake it it's supposed to sound like a bell. Can you hear it? it sounds more like a maraca but that's fine. The intent is there. Oh just got bath bomb dust in and up my nose. <sighs> oh this has the same scent as milky bar which I do like that. It's a really moisturizing bath bubble bar. <laughs> Ooh, it's a really moisturizing bubble bar from Lush. It's got orange oil, patchouli, which I don't normally care for patchouli, but I do like the way this smells. And I'm excited to see like what this turns out to be because often like the white ones are not just white and you can kind of see there's like blue flecks in it. So I'm excited to see what it turns into in the bath. But I just thought this one was so cute and just A+. Next we have the Rudolph bath bomb, which they sent this one to me so it did get a little bit flattened in shipping. But look at his little paper antlers. It's so cute. And he's got the red nose. He's just so cute. This one smells good. It smells very similar to me. It's marzipan scented. So it's got cocoa butter, cassie absolute, rose absolute. It smells really good. It's very like um, subtle, if you will. And this is one of the less expensive ones, which I think is cute. It would be a very cute gift for like anybody in your life, kid, teen, adult, you know. It smells really, really good. I'm not really sure what you do with the antlers like once it dissolves. It's just paper, but I just thought that was cute. So yeah. And speaking of the cheaper bath bombs, they released Butterbear this year, but in the form of a soap. And I'm slightly gutted by that. Butterbear, of course, is the same as Butterball, so I can get it all year round. But I love the Butterbear and I feel like I've bought like six every year since I've been into Lush, so that was kind of a bummer. They also in the store had this huge butter bear, like it's ginormous, it was awesome. It was a bar of soap, but anyway, I got sidetracked. This one is super cool and I already saw this in action. My sister, actually if you don't follow her, you should, because she's my sister, but her um, screen name is at Little Baby Kate's and she loves bath bombs maybe even more than me and she gives like live demos when she's using them and she used this one last night when I watched it I was like "Ooh, I can't wait to try that. This is the fireball bath bomb which I think it's so cute. I don't really know what this has to do with Christmas. It kind of reminds me of Calcifer from Howl's Moving Castle so it makes me really happy. <laughs> and to me it smells like cinders which I really miss cinders so if I uh, hopefully this is like the same ish scent but it just says it has orange oil and cinnamon oil. Oh it does say a faint cindery smell so that's fun. It says baby it might be cold outside but not in here so that's fun so yeah, I love that. This one I think is really cute and I'm excited about it. It's called Pop Art and it is basically a kettle corn scented bath bomb, which at first when I read that I was like, that's gonna smell so gross. But my old favorite lip scrub from Lush was, I believe it was called Popcorn Lip Scrub and it smelled just like this and it just has that like sweet, salty smell and it just smells so good. And they've come out with a lot of bath bombs with this like design as well where it's like bubbly, the new Blackberry one and then the Comforter bath bomb. 
Um, so I'm really excited to try this. Uh, like I said, I did not think I was going to be purchasing this one, but then I smelled it and I was like, oh, what was I thinking? Of course. It smells so good and I just read that there's popping candy inside, so that will be fun. I love when bath bombs have popping candy. I have grew up loving popping candy, so like, I feel like it's like the nostalgia in me, but also it's just something, it's like a nice extra added bonus to hear the popping candies in your bath. Oh, I could smell that all day. I really miss that popcorn lip scrub. I've seen this one a bunch on Instagram and it is called Snowman Dreaming. And it's just basically a white snowman, but on the side he does have like a rainbow stripe. So I've seen a lot of pretty like in action photos of this. My friend who I actually met at a Lush event, her name is Kayla. I'll have it, I'll put it right here, but she has an amazing Lush account. I believe it's called Way Lush. She posts beautiful photos of bath bombs in action. So if you're a Lushy like me and you're just into what's new and seasonal and you wanna see things in action, follow her on Instagram because it is is absolutely beautiful but she I think demoed this like first out of all the Christmas stuff and I was so excited to get my hands on it it smells very bright yet relaxing it's got it says a dreamy fragrance of cedarwood lavender oil and that's it that's not quite like, I, I would think it has like citrus in there but I don't know but I'm excited to see the colors that come out of it so yeah this one is absolutely beautiful and it's called Santa's workshop and it had this whole story behind it in the UK it's called Santa's grotto I don't know somebody explained it to where like the UK thinks that he builds his toys in a grotto or something like that I don't know but it's absolutely beautiful it has like gold I believe these are popping rocks they look like or salt crystal type things but there is clear ones gold ones silver glitter throughout gold glitter throughout it is absolutely stunning like it is a beautiful bath bomb and it smells unlike anything I've smelled from Lush but like in a good way it smells really really good it's like the most florally thing I've ever smelled from Lush it says it has everlasting flower absolute ylang ylang Tagades oil and I just I'm so excited to try this one it's like at the top of my list of things to try okay guys so that is it for the bath bombs let's move into the bubble bars I only got three this year and one of them is a repeat it is the candy cane bubble bar I think this one is so cute and I was shocked that it took them this long to come out with something candy cane shaped this doesn't smell like peppermint which is kind of weird and shocking but it does smell really good it smells like the big rock candy mountain bubble bar I believe that's what that was called it smells very sweet lemon and orange oil in it but it just smells kind of like candy. It smells really good. So I love that and I'm excited. And I think this is a reusable bubble bar. So basically that means you can hold this whole thing under the faucet for a little bit, let the water hit it. It will create bubbles underneath it, but then you can take this full thing, lay it out on like a Kleenex or a paper towel to dry, and then you can use it again. And I think the reusable bubble bars are the most bang for your buck. They really do last forever. If you're for some reason grossed out by like reusing it over and over, which I understand, you could just cut off the tiniest bit and you'll still get an intense amount of bubbles. So yeah, this one is a reusable bubble bar as well as this one, which is so cute. It's a little Santa on a stick. I don't think that's what it's called. Let me see what it's actually called. It's just called Santa, but it is literally a Santa head on a stick. I love his cute little nose and it just smells really citrusy. It has lime and bergamot in it and I'm really into it. And he's covered in like silver shimmer. So I just thought that was so cute. I'm not usually into the ones on a stick for some reason, but this one was just too cute to pass up and I loved the way it smelled. So. Yeah, it's kind of like a lollipop. And then I think this might be one of my like favorite things and that is the polar bear bubble bar. It is so freaking cute. This is called the polar bear plunge. And as I don't know if you can tell, but it is covered in a silver shimmer and he's kind of in like this downward facing dog position, face down, ass up. And this smells so minty. It smells like peppermint and spearmint and I love it just smells like it's gonna be the most amazing like wintertime tingly bath and i i'm just this is one of the things i'm most excited to try so yeah so that is it for bath bombs and bubble bars i do have some more stuff though before we get into like the shower stuff there is some more bath stuff i have some bath melts this one is the Santa's on his way bath melt and they had four of these this year but this one was my favorite one the way it smelled so I well they sent me this but I didn't buy any of the other ones because I didn't really know I don't know how you're supposed to use this but this smells like the Miranda soap which was my favorite soap they discontinued it unfortunately but this smells just like it and I love it so much it's very like kind of citrusy I guess fruity it's so cute and it's got um, a little chimney with Santa Claus going down it and it's bright pink and it's on a stick and I'm gonna put it away because it's melting in my hands but Wow, does it smell incredible. But let me read about how you're supposed to use that because I'm not even sure. I'm sorry, I keep saying bath melts, but it's a bath oil now. They changed it. Oh, and this is a bath tablet. 
It says, enjoy this reusable bath oil in two ways. Either break off a piece and drop it into the tub or run it under the tap and let your bath fill with natural oils and butters to soften and moisturize skin. So maybe it has that hanging thing because you're supposed to hang it on the faucet, you know what I mean? Um, but it smells incredible. It has a lippy butter, tangerine, bergamot, cocoa. It just smells literally incredible and they're so moisturizing. And I'm just very pleased that it smells like Miranda because I really miss that soap. Now I picked up some other bath oils. I don't normally like buy a ton of those, but you know, they were seasonal and they were cute and I wanted them and it came in this cute little like egg carton looking thing which I thought was fun but first we have the igloo bath melt which I'm not going to hold these for long because I don't want them to melt but it's a little igloo it smells so good again kind of that like icy minty peppermint smell and it's got silver glitter all over it I'm gonna put that back because it is melting away which bath melts are kind of the same as bubble bars you just add them to the running water or you can just dump it in there like a bath bomb and it makes the water so moisturizing. Like, trust me, it is incredible. Thaw out this cool little igloo under the tap as an invigorating blast of menthol rises from the arctic blue waters of your tub. It's got muramura butter. That's what's in my um, butter blush that I love so much. <laughs> it's got bergamot, orange oil, peppermint oil. It is divine. I really, really enjoy that one. Then I got two other ones in my little cart. There's the doll, doll a horse bath oil. I don't know, it just is a little horse. Oh my god, it smells so good. This has apricot kernel oil, cocoa butter, and shea butter to help rain in dry winter skin. It also has Sicilian mandarin and almond oils to regenerate and revitalize your mood. So that smells really good. Again, melting. And then we have the warm sock, which is a little stocking. It's so cute and it's got silver glitter on top. But again, it has like orange oil, cinnamon, cocoa butter. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. And I love that they have these um, trays to keep them in because otherwise I don't know what to do with them. So that is it for bath products. I do have one shower bomb, which if you don't know what shower bombs are, they're kind of, they're not like the same as like a, it's not like a shower steamer like you would think. Oh, this is hideous. But what you do with it is you kind of run it under the water and it kind of acts like a shower gel in a sense. You run it under the water and then you just rub it all over your body and it kind of foams up and cleans you. And I just think they're really cute. And this one's like a little snowman snow. It's like so cute. So this is called the snowman nose. This has bergamot and jasmine, which are like two of my favorite scents ever. And that's why I love the scent. Oh, it smells so good, but it also has um, carrot juice in it. That's fun. Hopefully it doesn't stay in your skin, but I just love it. I think it's so cute. Now some more shower products. We have um, some shower gel. They actually sent me the Lord of Miss Rule shower gel, which I was really excited about. And I believe I have this correctly, but I think this is a permanent item now, which like it didn't come back for Halloween and everybody was upset and Lush listened and they made it a part of their permanent collection, which is awesome. Lord of Miss Rule is a bath bomb that comes out during Halloween, but usually sticks around through Christmas time. It's one of my favorites. I love it. And so I'm really excited about this. Bradley's excited about this too, because he loves the Lush shower gels. It just smells very vanilla-y to me. It is fabulous and I love it. So and I'm excited. And it's fun that it's a nice bright green color too. Another shower gel is the Yog Nog shower gel. You guys, this smells incredible. Jesus Louises. Every time I smell something Yog Nog, I just want to eat it. And they did come out again. They came out last year with like a bubble bar slash bath melt that's Yog Nog. They kind of changed the way it looked this year, but it's back. I didn't really care for it. It didn't create enough bubbles for me. So I didn't pick that one up again, but I'm excited to use this. Again, they sent me this. It's creamy caramel scented lathers with a touch of spicy clove. It just smells like you could drink it, but don't. And I didn't realize it had the like explanation on it. It's Get down and earthy with this herbal blend of spicy black pepper and patchouli oils. Again, I don't like patchouli, but I'm liking everything it's in. <laughs> smells great. They also sent me this shower jelly. It's the drummer's drumming shower jelly. It says drum up fruity softening lathers with fresh peach juice and agave syrup. It smells really, really good. I'll show you in the close up. It's kind of a mess right now because it kind of spilled, but it is the shape of a drum, which is super fun but it smells really, really good. And the shower jellies are fun. They're kind of weird. You can either use them whole or you can break off chunks and use it that way, but it's just something fun, especially if you have like kids, like that would be so fun for them. Something that I am really excited about is this cookie dough shower scrub. Like, are you kidding? It smells so good. It smells a little bit like clean and fresh than normal cookie dough. It's not like as vanilla as like cookie dough, but it definitely does smell like cookie dough. It smells really good, really sweet. Here's what it looks like. Um, and I'm just so excited. I love Lush body scrubs so much. So I'm gonna put this in my shower immediately and start to use it. It says buff your body with the bakery fresh scent of vanilla absolute and hazelnut oil. So that's what is kind of different is the hazelnut but it smells so good and I am so excited to try it. And then a couple more random products. This is the Snowflake Body Lotion. I've heard a lot of good things about this this year, like on Instagram and YouTube. It says there's no need to fear winter dryness with this almond milk and cocoa butter cream. What a dream those two things are. Oh, it smells so good. You guys know I love the Lush lotions. I love the Sleepy Lotion, obviously. 
it just is so nice and beautiful and rich and I'm very excited to try that. I'm so excited about this new lip scrub. They sent this to me, but even if they didn't, I would have bought it myself after I smelled it. This is the Galaxy Lip Scrub, which the packaging is so fun. It's kind of like extra shiny. This smells like a blue Jolly Rancher. It smells like blue candy. It smells in Incredible. And I think it is supposed to be like raspberry blueberry. Just raspberries. A sweet scrub starring the tart taste of raspberries. It's like blue raspberry. It's amazing, you guys. If you listen to me on one thing, get this scrub. It is incredible and I love the Lush Lip Scrubs, you guys know that. And then I think the last thing that I'm so excited about this is Sleepy Dust. First of all, I love the packaging. It is beautiful. You guys know I'm obsessed with the Sleepy scent. I have the lotion, I have the body spray, the shower bomb. It's the same scent as, as Twilight. Like, I have all the Sleepy things. So I'm excited about this. It's dusting powder so you can dust it on your pillow, which I love the Lush dusting powders. They have some that like are for your skin to make it glittery, but then they have other ones that um, are for like your pillow or just other random reasons. But this is going to be so glorious. Oh, you guys, Sleepy has changed my life. I can't even tell you. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna like keep it out because I think it's so cute. And then I'll remember to use it, but I love it. But okay guys, I think that is it. I think I got everything. Of course, I've been sitting here for like 45 minutes filming, but you never know if I missed anything. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you again in a couple of days for more Holiday Me. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'll have my little face right here you can click. And then some videos down here you can click as well. But like I said, a new video every other day until Christmas. So should be fun. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you want more Lush videos, I will link them up in the card. I have a whole playlist. Otherwise, I'll see you very soon. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.